All right, we're uh, excited to have head coach uh, Mark Briggs here back, uh, back by popular demand and, and my demand and your demand. <laughs> yeah, you, you texted me. A little bit this. of both. A little, little bit, bit of both. both. Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks for, for being here. Appreciate you coming in. Appreciate it for having me, Con. Yeah, nice, uh, nice win, obviously, on uh, Saturday Yeah. against Monterey Bay. You guys go on the road after a little bit of a tough stretch. You get, the, get a nice 2-0 victory. What did you see going into that game and in that match that you liked differently from the past couple matches? Uh, the mentality, um, the mentality in the players was back. Then you could see the mindset was back. Um, defending forwards, aggressive, winning balls high up the field. Uh, the first goal, Kieran scores uh, a great goal. Uh, you know, but we won the ball. We switch a point of attack. Kieran makes a great run. Dammy plays a great ball, great goal. Um, but I thought we were the mentality was was right. The attitude was right, and when our mentality and attitude's right, uh, the odds are we're going to win the game for the because of the quality we have. So, you know, you lose Roro, you know, which is tragic in the in the Open Cup game. Russell went out before then. Those are two big creators on the on the attacking side. You bring in Justin Portillo, but for those couple games, I think you kind of felt that lack of creativeness. However, this last match, it seems like we saw guys step up in various ways. You obviously bring Justin Portillo in, who's going to be a big help with that. But what, what did you see from this last game in terms of the creativeness, the creativity in, in the attack? Yeah, I think, um, I think any, any team in the league is going to hurt when you lose Russell uh, with what he brings and then you lose Roro. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like a double whammy for us in the space of 10 days, I think. Um, you know, both of them from, for different different reasons, but Russell, his personality, not just his quality uh, and what he brings to the team, but his personality, his intensity, his communication. Um, although half the time that communication is undressing people. <laughs> Um, but it's missed, right? It's yeah. something that they used to, and it's missed. And then Roro, uh, his quality and what he brings as a player, but also his leadership. You know, in in big moments, Roro adds a little bit of composure. Roro gives somebody confidence. Roro settles somebody back down. You know, those are, those are big things um, that the team miss, and I think you really saw that in the the game against. Um, Birmingham um, and the game against Tampa um, although the game against Tampa was probably our worst performance but you Nick Ross scores after five minutes it's a completely different game mm -hmm. and it's such fine margins right mm -hmm. such fine margins they had so many chances Danny makes big saves whatever we didn't deserve to to win that game um, but you know it's not like we we didn't, you know, um, but I think going into Saturday, the, the mindset and the mentality was really good. Um, and not only that, I thought Dammy had his best game this year, Yep. Um, which really helps us from an attacking standpoint right. with the quality he has, the passes he sees, beating people on the dribble. Um, I thought Nick Ross was found great spots, was gave us a lot going forward. I thought Justin settled in for his first game um, and showed a lot of quality. Kieran, Sebastian, Christian, uh, you know, they all they all added their little bit. Um, so it was nice to get um, a two 0 win on the road and in front of a lot of our fans. Yeah, uh, which was also amazing. Well, not only that against you know you have a lot of fans travel which was fantastic but that that was a big game against monterey bay they were what right behind us yeah the they were right behind us in the standing so it's always important uh important from that regard but important from a local rivalry standpoint yeah. but important for us just from a, a momentum um standpoint from a confidence standpoint it was a really big game for so many reasons um and uh I met with the guys Saturday morning in the hotel um, and I asked them to to take a little bit of um, ownership, take a little bit of responsibility. Um, and I asked them what they wanted from the game. What do you want from tonight's game? What do you want from us as a group? Um, 
and they came up with five points. Um, this was them, not me. This was them coming up with what they wanted from the game, and uh, we saw that on Saturday night. Um, I think when we went through the analysis and when we went through everything with the group this morning, they, they ticked every, every point that they put on the board. You guys bring in Portillo last week, um, a veteran, 31 years old. You, he's played with you before, for you, um, and RSL, a proven leader. How big was that acquisition for you guys in, in terms of where this team is going, specifically with some of the injuries? And not only that, but um, the, the depth in the midfield adding another person who can really help with that? Yeah, look, I think we've been light, light in the midfield. Uh, actual central midfield players have really only been uh, Russell, sorry, Russell, good Lord, Luis and uh, Nick Ross. Mm -hmm. um, so to be able to add an actual central midfield player is a huge bonus. Uh, to add a player of Justin's quality, uh, we mentioned Roro before and his quality and what I was going to ask him to bring, you know, like he was going to start to evolve and start to play a slightly different role for us, uh, which I think you saw against San Jose. Uh, Justin has the capabilities of, you know, playing that role of mm -hmm. doing similar things, his quality on the ball, uh, his quality from set pieces. Um, he scores goals. Um, he has experience in big games and he's won. You know, when you look through all of the attributes, he's won. He's won the championship and we want winners at this club and we want people who still have the hunger to win again. So he has the experience of winning, but he also has the hunger that he wants to win another championship. The striker position is as strong as it's been probably in Republic history. Definitely, in, I would say, in your tenure. Ah, you got 100%. Not even, not even close, right? Yeah, nowhere near. It's, you got Kieran, who's been fantastic since coming in. Uh, Trevor had a great start. He's kind of cooled off since then. And then you have Sebastian, who's come in and played really, really well. Also played really well in that Open Cup match, played well this weekend. What does that change? Because I know that you've, you've kind of tweaked the way you've played a couple strikers up top. You've played guys out on the wing. Like what, how, do, how much flexibility does that give you going into kind of what style and formation you guys are going to play going in week to week? Yeah, I think, I think look, the style and uh, the things that we're trying to do within within whatever structure we decide to play uh, like our principles our values they don't change no matter what what system we play mm -hmm. um, but it is slightly different where when you have two forwards on versus two midfield two tens and one forward mm -hmm. um, it does slightly change the balance of the team it unbalances us a little bit and causes a lot more um, you know, a lot more running for the midfield players when you play with two forwards because they've got to cover the width for the whole mm -hmm. field. Um, and the guys are the guys are kind of getting used to that those roles, getting used to new a new way of pressing, for example, um, different things that we need in in possession of the ball from the forwards. Mm -hmm. uh, Kieran, Trevor, and Sebastian have ne never. I think Kieran has, but the other two have only played alone as a forward right that's new you know to them yeah. playing as a pair them learning one another's tendencies them learning one another's movements the rest of the group learning their movements where they want the ball mm -hmm. when they want the ball there's a lot of things to to that roll into those scenarios um, but when you have a group as good as ours as, as a coach sometimes you have to uh, adapt your structure to fit those players in and we've got a number of players and we've got to win games and I think sometimes having two forwards on the field gives us a better opportunity of winning a game. I want to talk about the San Jose game in that aspect because I remember you came out pre-game and you said we're going to try something a little bit different tonight, we're going to go for it is kind of what you said early right. on. Try a different formation. You then change formations once before and during the game and then you change it twice, maybe three times right. in that San Jose game. By the way, an unbelievable match, unbelievable game. Just like Incredible. the level of football and the level of just in general was unbelievable. I'm sure you felt that. But can you kind of take us through some of the beats of that game of your thought process and some of the substitutions you made, the formations change you made as various goals came on? Yeah, I think you look as you look at San Jose have a lot of quality. Yeah, you know they have uh, they're an MLS team. You know what that brings. Yep. 
uh, Espinosa, um, um, Hernan Lopez, the you know the boy they just paid seven million for. Yep. Uh, then you look at Judd Kikanovic, um, Yule, uh, the centre backs. The, there's quality right the way through. We wanted to try and um, going into it, we wanted to try and figure out a way that we could have uh, a little more authority in possession of the ball, uh, which in this in this game was Roro. Mm-hmm. We wanted, um, you know, we, we played a 3 one four, two. Um, two forwards, four midfield players, Roro in between the midfield line and the defensive line. Um, and we felt if we could get Roro on the ball, um, he could dictate the game. Um, and with the way San Jose pressed, there were certain movements that we felt could expose them. Um, and that ultimately it did. Um, you look at both our, both of our goals in the 90 minutes, um, especially the one. Well, they both started from Danny, but the one where he played, Danny plays out, Roro around the corner to Nick Cross, Nick Cross set back out to Jack. Um, Jack puts the ball in, Kieran scores. You know, it was uh, a proud thing for the staff because the, those are movements that we'd worked on, but those yeah. are the exact positions we wanted Rora because mm-hmm. he's got a vision that's at a higher level. Yeah. You know, and we wanted to uh, maximise that. And the <coughs> that, that run specifically, because I remember that, Kieran does an unbelievable job of waiting for his opponent to turn his head and then flashes near post and able to score exactly um and it seems like when we had him on we talked about that kind of innate ability he has to to do some of those things he's been fantastic obviously since coming over but then they equalize you go into the 90th minute or you go into the first uh extra time and you kind of can feel the the anxiety in the crowd a little bit yeah they score up they score the goal and i know you want to talk about the crowd that night in this season in a second but then, going into the second extra time, you make a couple substitutions. You bring in Sebastian, you bring in Pirano, and the game flips on its head. I know you mentioned that the crowd was a huge factor. Yeah, in I that. think, I think going back to the Kieran moments <coughs> and the yeah. Kieran goal. Like if you look at the, there's a connection between Jack and Kieran. You know, there's that eye contact. That, there's that understanding that when Jack takes his touch and he's got time and space. If you look at Kieran, he takes the defender away and to then. open up the space to pass for Jack to play the ball and then he's timing to get across the defender and it's a simple finish then. Mm-hmm. Um, everything about that play was at a real high level. But yeah, to concede, I think it was what, the 80th minute? I think so. Where uh, they scored the free kick and uh, you know, we that was a real test of character. That was a real, uh, a real test of everything that we had because we were under pressure and we just had to ride a lot of attacks and see it out and you felt that moment and then when obviously in extra time uh, when we went down and uh, the crowd, the stadium, uh, the players kind of went quiet and you could see everyone down Um, but then there was a moment in the first period where uh, it was a tackle, and I can't remember who went in for the tackle, um, but it livened everything up again. And you felt the energy in the crowd, you felt the energy in the team uh, come back. Um, and in that moment, the crowd the crowd started to get loud, the crowd started to get behind us, and they started singing again. And the drums started going again, and you felt the energy of our group and the belief in our group start to come back. Um, And then we managed to, we obviously go down, um, and then we managed to, we managed to get into half time, um, and we we just switched systems. Uh, We switched the shape. Um, We went to 4-3-3, and we we brought Christian in, obviously on the right, Sebastian through the middle, uh, and played with four at the back. Um, and just spoke to the guys in the break about belief, about confidence, about courage. Don't worry about the structure. Don't worry about the system. Just give it everything you have, mm-hmm. um, and try to try to keep them calm while also explaining 
I need you to do this when we have the ball and you need to do this when we don't have the ball. Um, and then obviously the rest is history, I guess, when, when we go into the second period and to score, to score two goals in such quick succession, uh, just like incredible, incredible. I think it's, you know, you had the Open Cup games in 22, which had its own drama, right? right? To me, this was a heightened level of drama in a different way. Those, I mean, I would say the PK shootout against Sporting Kansas City probably still is n number one because you, you had it, you, you know, the stop happened, wait, it's getting right. called back, the backflip, and then Malik. But there's all those things. But this, in terms of a length of the game and the back and forth, we were down twice, two separate occasions, right. come back both times. Um, just the, the drama of it. Were I think it's, for me, it's uh, from an emotional standpoint, the emotions that I went through that night, for me, it's the best game that I've been involved in. Mm. Um, look, the semi-final, the final, LA <coughs> Galaxy, yeah, all fantastic nights. The first San Jose game, all unbelievable nights. Mm -hmm. But I think this game, like, look, penalties. You're in a scenario that you know, yep. you know. You know someone's going to go from 12 yards, they're either going to miss or they're going to score. Yep. You know, it's kind of like little. you need a little bit of look of the gods on your side, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that game, just like everything, you know, you're, you're constantly thinking, you're constantly trying to change things, you're, <coughs> you're constantly in it. But when our group are, when our group show the mindset that they did against San Jose, uh, and I've said this to them all year and even last year, when we're at it, we can beat anyone. And that, that night you felt we're at it, we're at it. And even when we went down, yes, there was a moment where it was quiet and yes, there was a moment where it was a little bit tense, but there was always that belief, that desire, that feeling in the stadium that it's going to be another special night, mm -hmm. you know? And um, like I said, that night for me, I usually manage to sleep an hour or two after games because the emotional come down, the mm -hmm. everything, you never usually sleep. Um, that night I was wide awake until the next morning. Um, with my kids, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that game was just such a roller coaster of every single emotion, feeling, whatever you want to call it. But mm -hmm. what a night, what a night, what a night, what an atmosphere, yeah. what a game. Yeah. You uh, turned, I don't remember which goal it was, I think it was the second one. You turned and celebrated with uh, my brand new stage manager <laughs> who has, I mean, he's worked three, I think three or four games. I don't think he's missing a game ever again. <laughs> you turned and like celebrate. I don't know if you chest bumped. It kind of got on camera a little bit. No, like I jumped into his arms. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, look, you, I don't think I've ever celebrated like that. I know. You know, like the, and that tells you everything, right? Yeah. The feeling of the game, the yeah. emotion of the game. Um, yeah, I just jumped into some random guy's arms, but yeah. he caught me. He yeah. held me. He was He's a strong boy. <laughs> Um, uh, so, yeah, it was uh, just incredible, yeah. incredible scenes. Uh, so last game, I texted you about this. Last game, I'm, I'm about a half hour till kick. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little less. You guys are in the locker room. I had a fan come up to me and say, hey, you know, during Stern Alliance, we say the last name. He's like, why don't we say Briggs' name? I want to say Briggs' name. I was like, I don't, I don't know. I, we should. <laughs> we should do it. Let's try it. You want to try it tonight? So he's like, yeah. So, so I told you when you come out. Right. I said, hey, we got something for you tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we, we did it, and I think it, I don't know if you knew it was coming or whatever, but... Uh, but No, I didn't. It was a surprise, actually. Pretty cool. I mean, we're going to do it from now on. Pretty cool for a fan to, to come down and, and mention that. Shows how much you've made a difference, and fans really appreciate you and everything you've done since being here. I think it's got to be a, somewhat of a cool moment for you. Yeah, it was. It was a, a nice moment and a surprise. Yeah. You know, it was a surprise. I, I didn't know that would be happening, but... I was so looking forward to your reaction, I forgot to start reading all the assistants. And I have a lot to get to now. <laughs> Not just assistant coaches, but the entire soccer yeah, staff. Yeah, there's a lot. So there's a long pause in between. It's because I forgot. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to do the rest. It's awesome. It's awesome. No, it was a nice feeling. Um, although it's the one game that we've lost, so... 
Oh, you are know? you saying do we not do it now? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's uh, it's okay. I, I, it's great. Like I look, I, the amount of, um, I don't know what the right word is to, to. Stay and show my appreciation for our fans, for the support they give me, for the support they give the team. Um, but for a fan to come and ask you for that, uh, it's pretty cool and yeah. pretty, uh, pretty nice to hear. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool too. All right, we're gonna have some fun. We're 21 minutes in. We got a couple things planned for you. So people don't know this, but you were planning to take the U.S. citizenship test. I was correct? supposed to take the U.S. citizenship test, but. Uh, the government cancelled on me. Oh, why? Uh oh, is there uh -oh. an investigation uh -oh. we don't know about? Yeah, I'm, I have no idea. Are you still mate. planning on taking it though? Apparently, yeah. Whenever my uh, next appointment comes through, uh, I definitely will be taking that. All right, we got a couple of questions for you. Okay, far away. See how you're. I haven't done it for a few weeks now. It's been cancelled, so you. Could, I don't know if I. You could catch me off guard. We didn't even. We didn't write the correct answers on this sheet. Who wrote the questions? Emil wrote them. Oh, a meal. Emil found him a online. Meal. <laughs> oh, here we go. He he may have set me up for failure because I don't even know if I know the correct answers. I have, I'm reading them first go time. Go on, then right fire now. away. Here we go. All right. Uh, what does the Constitution do? Is it A, sets up the government, B, defines the government, or C, protects basic rights of Americans? Sets up the government. Ooh, I believe it's C, protects the rights, basic rights of America. It's, I think all three, are, all three are the correct answer. You only have to. What answer. a trick question! I think man. you only have to answer one. Oh, you is only that have how it to works? say one of the three that are listed. Oh, see, well there you go. Gotta do a bit more homework, guys. I didn't have to take this test. <laughs> I was born here. I, that's a bad. That's some a bad of the thing. some of the staff that so w my went before leading up to the test. Yeah. Um, we the staff would ask me questions after every staff meeting. In oh the really? Morning. So, so you've that, been that was this. my way of studying. That was my way of studying. The staff was question me. All right, next one. You ready? This is the last one, and then we have one other thing. Far oh, away. Actually, there's two more. Again, I don't know the answer to the third one, <laughs> so we're going to have to be creative. <laughs> okay. It'd be interesting to see how many Americans actually know the questions to the, the – there's 100 questions. Whoa. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see because wow. some of my staff didn't know some of the answers, some of the questions. Well, you got what's what like what percent do you have to get? How many do you have to get right? Um, I think you've got to. It's only a small. You've got to get. I think they only ask you. There's hundred possible questions, but I think they only ask you ten. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Name one branch or part of the government. A. Congress. B. Legislative. C. President. D. Executive. E. The courts. Or F. Judicial. All of the above. <laughs> you just read me the answers to to all of them so uh, <laughs> wow. i think i think connor's had a long day today guys <laughs> no no here's what happened is uh our producer emil and and nathan do it they do a great job but i should have probably reviewed that the, i usually review questions i didn't look at these so that was it's, bad that was bad preparation that's, that's, is key that's emil. the worst that's preparation uh, is key I just want to point out, everybody, we're not going to cut this so everybody can see what an <laughs> idiot I am. All right, next question. I won't do this part wrong. I, I was confused <laughs> on that last part. I love it, God. I love it. I love it. There were 13 original states, colonies, if you will. Yes. Name three. Uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Massachusetts. Whew, that's right. Well done there. Yeah. I, I, I didn't read the first part. I thought we were going to have to name all 13, so I got real uh, nervous. Yeah, I'm not sure I could do the 13, but I, I got three. New Jersey's one? Yeah. Yeah. New Jersey? That's yep. four. New York? New York. Go up. Virginia? What was that? Delaware. Delaware yeah. Connecticut? There you go. Yeah, that's close. Okay, last thing. And we're going to ask you to ask the question to me that we asked you to bring. Hopefully it's a little easier than the last one you asked me. Okay. That I... Uh, I nearly passed out and have an answer. <laughs> All right, so uh, producer Nathan yes. is in a play. What's the play called? Is his mic on? Um, Peter, and the Peter and the what? Peter and the Star Cat. Bring the, bring the mic. Peter nice. and the Star Cat. Peter and the Star Cat. Okay. Okay. Hang on, Nathan. Hang on. We can't get it working. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll have Nathan's mic working, and then we will we'll go to this. All right. <laughs> 
All right, we're back. So the, the Nathan's on. You're, he's off camera. Yeah. Nathan, what is it? What's the name of it? It's Peter and the Star Catcher. So it's, it's like a Peter Pan prequel thing. Um, but it's in England. Okay. So, so the reason why we're so, doing this. So. So. So you're going to rate his English <laughs> accent. No, Here we go. There's a bunch of options, right? Right. My character is a, is a, is a baron. It's a lord. Uh, okay. So, so for my accent, it's more of a, a London accent or more rich to posh, as it were, as you might, <laughs> as you might imagine, Mark. Mark Briggs. Not going yes. to speak like you from Wolverhampton. Yeah, I'm certainly not posh. No. That's, yeah. a good, that's, de- that's decent. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. That's a decent accent. You like it? Yeah, I think yeah. That's, that's decent. If I'll I give that like a, a 7 or 8 out of 10. I think that's, that's pretty good. good. Yeah, I thought it was good marks. too. He just showed us right before we started, and I was like, well, well we got to bring that yeah, up. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I like that. If I was from Wolverhampton, say thank you. Like there you yeah. <laughs> I can't say thank you. Come on. Can't, can't do that. Can't do that on stage, can I, Mark? Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, man. Hey, that's decent, Nathan. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. That's good. Yeah. Where's the yeah. show? It's in Woodland. Yeah? It's at the Woodland Opera House. Yeah. Ah, okay. Which is funny because it's, it was built in the 1850s. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. So it's older I've heard than of it. even our show is set. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let me know. It's next three weekends. Oh, <laughs> just busy. Awesome. He's busy on weekends. Yeah, I'm, I struggle on a weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm skipping Got a few things weekends. going on. <laughs> Uh, uh, is it is it sat- Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? And Sunday, Sunday uh, Matin. I I, got, I'm, yeah. I told them I'm going to go to one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to try and get out there as well. Yeah. It's yeah. Fine. I'll cool. see if I can uh, persuade the wife. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Get you some tickets. Don't judge me too much for the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway. that accent's good. No judgment. No judgment. I couldn't believe it when he did that. Yeah, it's quality. <laughs> Literally 15 minutes before we started. All right. Uh, last high thing. Level. High level. Last thing before we let you go. Question for me. What do you got? Question for you, Connor. Yep. Yeah. Please no, uh, no uh, <laughs> reading questions about <laughs> America, apparently. If there is any role oh. within the football club. Not, Ours? Not your current role. Oh. Any other role. Yeah? Okay. I can't pick mine. Which role would you like to do other than your own oh man yeah okay and why would you like to do that and i can't do mine you can't do your current role my skills are specifically for this role there's not a lot of <laughs> skills that transform no you're you putting roles. yourself down con putting think, yourself down i think um i think i do all right in ticket sales really yeah every time i go on the radio that's basically what i'm doing i say hey you've never been to a game just come to one and i promise you're gonna have a great time even if you're not, like a lot of people who are like, I'm not a big soccer fan. I don't know much about soccer. I'm like, don't worry about it. Come to a game. You're going to have a good time. You're going to be shocked at the level of the play on the field. They're going to do like five things a game that you're like, Perfect. that's unbelievable. So I think, I think ticket sales. I think, I think you'd be good answer. at that as well, actually. Yeah. I I'd, think you'd be good at that. I'd, I'd be, I think I'd be all right. I'm yeah. not, listen, our ticket sales people are fantastic. They, They're they can, incredible, to be fair. They can yeah. paint a picture of things that I just, I just can't do, you know? So I would yeah. say that's the answer. The okay. problem is, 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 uh, now, now that I say this, they're going to put me on some cold calls. That's it. You've set yourself up a little bit a there. A little bit. But that's okay. I think that's the answer. It's yeah. either that or I think it would be either ticket sales or partnership sales. Really? Yeah. Huh. Why? I think I can talk decent. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have guessed. <laughs> yeah. I can talk all right. Um, you know, I know things that have worked in, in sales and partnerships and tickets. And I know what the best seat in the house is. There you go. Um, Which is where? I would say where I sit, so I can hear what you may or may not say to the official. That's, yeah, debatable. Although this year I'm up top now, so I can't you hear are. as much. You are. I can't hear as you much. You probably still can at times. <laughs> no, you're pretty good this year. Yeah, I have. I've been trying to be better. Yeah. No, it's been, been I, trying think it, to be I think it's been way better. Um, Although Saturday's decision was a little. Ball doesn't lie. Yeah. Danny, Danny made the save. Yeah, Danny was incredible, to be fair. Yeah. He's He'd saved it before he even took it. Oh, really? Why do you say that? Just mentally? Yeah. yeah d- He's locked in. Everything Danny was doing, like the guy, he was in the guy's head. Mm. He was telling him he's going to go straight down the middle. He's going to go straight down the middle. He goes straight down the middle, and Danny saves it with his foot, you know? Mm. Um, so, yeah. I think it's a beard. It's a beard thing. As someone who doesn't it have a beard, be. I would imagine. It it's might be. It's, the beard gives you a little bit of strength. Yeah. yeah and give it a little... I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't know. 
I wouldn't know. I can tell you, I'm not doing playoff beard this year. I'm just no, I right don't now. think we need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we need to do that. Todd was the one who talked me into it. And Todd it was, loves a playoff beard. It was, me and, it was me and him and Edder. It was the three of us. So, and Those Edder, two Edder's can grow good beards. Huh? Edder's kept his, yeah. 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 I can't. Not, it's interesting. can't do that. So, all right. We're, what, 35 minutes in. We had a couple bits that we had some fun with. Thanks to Nathan for doing that. I Mark. like it. I like it. Yeah, you like with little curveball we threw. Yeah, a little curveball. I like yeah. it. You added, brought in an extra, extra person. Added a little bit. Yeah. To uh, to our platform. We, we do what we can. We there do what you we go. can. Uh, thanks for being here, Mark. Appreciate of course, it. Of no uh, problem. We'll see you soon. See you soon, mate. Thank you.